So, as y'all can see, the same women who cry and complain about featureism have the audacity to tell a man that he has slave features. These are also the same women that stay dragging Jay-Z over his big nose and big lips, but then they're crying when a man don't want them and they're coming up with all of these isms. This is why people don't take that shit seriously. Like, saying this man has slave features was so unnecessary. And as you can see, all of the women that are liking this picture is black women, which is a shame. These are also the same women that will be pissed and calling black men self-haters and color-struck coons and sons of bitches if they had said anything about that woman's features. These are the same women that still to this day drag Blue Ivy because of her West African phenotype. But if you say the same thing to them, then they're crying. And this this is why nobody takes it seriously. How you expect people to love you when you don't even love yourself, your features? Is your nose not wide? Is your lips not big? There's nothing wrong with having these features. He also said, this ain't just Twitter. Being a Negro with slave features myself... Black males have been dealing with this shit from other dark-skinned females since we could remember. Typically, our mothers or the women in our family, but that's the topic for another lifetime. Time. Funny enough, I bet old girl that posted this nonsense looks just like me or old boy. Wouldn't surprise me if she was a light bright, but that statement sounded personal. Actually, I agree with him. A lot of this actually starts in the home and, you know, get your black ass in this house and you look like your ain't shit daddy. And that usually where a lot of them gets their self-hate from. A lot of people don't want to admit, but a lot of these boys, men, whatever, their self-hate usually comes from their mother. Like, swear to God, like... Don't come home with no dark-skinned, nappy-headed babies. They pick that up from their mothers. Real talk. One thing I will say, though, is we all know when it comes to this colorism, futurism nonsense, nobody likes to talk about the effect that it has on men. And that, until we can address this issue... With men at the table, it'll never get resolved. Because it's not just women that goes through this.